Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Assalamu Alaikum I hope you all are fine and staying safe and happy I am your GK teacher Ms Farheen and I welcome you all to your GK class My dear students as you know that we are on unit number 13 water and today I will deliver its fourth lecture So my dear students let's start the lecture with the recap that what we did in the previous lectures for that you have to answer a few questions quickly tell me what benefits do we get from natural water resources kon kon se aapko benefits hasil hain kon kon se fayde jo hain wo aap natural resources se hasil kar rahe hain very good we get fresh water for drinking and we also get water for our plants we get water for uh, irrigating the crops and the large water bodies are a great source or a link between different countries trade routes so these are the benefits of natural water resources okay my dear students in the previous few lectures we discussed about the uses of water humne ye padha ke pani kitna zyada important hai jaise ke peene ke liye khana banane ke liye cheeze dhone ke liye plants ko pani dene ke liye even jo animals hain they also drink water so main source kya hai pani ka that is rainfall jo barish hai this is the main source of water on earth isi pani ki wajah se jo mukhtalif rivers streams aur waterfalls jo aapko nazar aati hain ye uh, reservoirs jo hain ya resources jo hain ye barish ke pani ki wajah se zameen par ban jate hain iske ilawa oceans एंड द स्नोफॉल जो बर्फ पहाड़ों पर पड़ती है इसकी वजह से ग्लेशियर्स बन जाते हैं बर्फ जहां पर बहुत ज्यादा इकट्ठी हो जाए दे बिकम ग्लेशियर्स सो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स ये जो पानी जब मेल्ट होता है इन ग्लेशियर्स का या माउंटेन्स में से पानी मेल्ट होता है तो ये पानी जो है ये जमीन के नीचे चला जाता है और इससे बहुत सारे चश्मे बन जाते हैं सो ओशन ग्लेशियर्स एंड रिवर्स दे ऑल आर फॉर्म ड्यू टू स्नो and rainfall on earth so my dear students jo oceans aur seas hote hain inka pani salty hota hai and the rivers streams lakes and waterfalls inka pani fresh hota hai isko fresh water kaha jata hai aur usually isi pani ko drinking ke liye use kiya jata hai so my dear <coughs> students kabhi aapne socha hai ki ye jo tamam natural resources hain jo maine aapko abhi dikhaye the इन में से पानी अचानक आपकी टैप्स में कैसे आ जाता है हैव यू एवर थिंक अबाउट दैट चलें अगर आपको नहीं पता तो आई विल टेल यू कि आपकी वाटर जो टैप है इसमें पानी कहां से आता है बट माई रियर स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स क्विकली लुक एट टूडे ऑब्जेक्टिव टूडे ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू नरेट हाउ वॉटर गेट्स फ्रॉम अ नेचुरल सोर्स टू द टैप्स इन देयर होम आपके घर में पानी आपकी टैप्स में कैसे पहुंचता है लेट्स टुडे स्टडी अबाउट दैट बट लेट्स क्विकली लुक एट द इस्लामिक पर्सपेक्टिव हजरत मोहम्मद सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम सेड यस इवन इफ यू वर ऑन द बैंक्स ऑफ अ फ्लोइंग रिवर इसका मतलब ये है कि एक वाक्य जो मैंने आपको बहुत देर से लेक्चर्स uh, के अंदर में नरेट करती जा रही हूँ जिसमें एक सहाबी थे ही वॉज परफॉर्मिंग वजू तो वो पानी ज़रा बहुत ज़्यादा यूज़ कर रहे थे प्रॉबेबली सो हज़रत मोहम्मद सल्ला वसलम आस्ट इन दैट वॉट इज़ दिस एक्स्ट्रा वगेंस तो उन्होंने कहा कि इज़ देर एक्स्ट्रा वगेंस इन एबोल्यूशन ऑल्सो यानी कि वज़ू करते हुए भी पानी ज़ाया होता है तो उन्होंने कहा कि अगर आप दरिया के किनारे खड़े हैं तब भी आपको पानी ज़ाया नहीं करना बिकॉज इट इज़ एन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रिसोर्स so my dear students let's quickly move towards the pre reading question quickly tell me what are the different uses of water pani ke mukhtalif uses kya hain very nice okay my dear students now is the time to open page number 101 in your gk2 books <coughs> i hope everybody has opened the page so my dear students first quickly look at the picture given with water in our homes water in our homes so koi bhi jo natural resource hai this water body from here the water is moved to the cleaning plant yahan pe pani ko saaf kiya jata hai cleaning processes se guzara jata hai then it is pumped 
to the storage in your societies and in your cities. And from this water storage, water is pumped through pipes into your houses. So, this is how water is supplied from a natural resource to your house. Let's quickly read about it now. The water from any natural resource, river, ocean is taken to water cleaning plant. Here, impurities, yani ke, like clay, sand and other unwanted particles which are not good for health. Materials are removed from water. Its taste and quality becomes better. This clean water is then pumped into large pipes for the supply to cities, villages and towns from where it is supplied to our homes through small pipes. We open the tap and get water. So my dear students, natural reservoirs, jo hai, natural resources, hai, se pani ko pump karke pipes ke through cleaning plant mein leker jaya jata hai, jahan pe pani ka taste better kiya jata hai, all the impurities, salts and clay particles are removed from it. Now this water is safe for drinking. Then it is pumped to the storage near your houses, your societies or your cities. From this storage, the water is pumped through pipes into your houses. In this way, when you open your tap, you open your tap in your tap. You will be able to get your tap available. Again, start reading with me. Sometimes we dig wells or tubes well, tube wells and get water directly from the ground. This is the naturally stored water in the ground. But with time, the human activities have lowered down its level. So my dear students, sometimes people <coughs> dig holes into the ground and they pump the water directly from the ground to machinery, then it is called a tube well or this is a tube well, isko surah kiya jata hai, is pipe ko machine ke saath attach kiya jata hai and then this pumps water out from the ground and this is clean water for drinking and for the use. Okay, my dear students, now this is a well. Yani ki kuwa. Is kuwe ko bhi khoda jata hai aur paani jo hai wo iske andar se manually jo hai wo log khech ke bucket se bahar nikalte hain. Aur ye bhi underground water hai. Underground water jo hai ye natural storage hota hai jo ke paani seep in ho jata hai zameen ke niche. Is paani ko jo hai wo underground water kaha jata hai. Lekin constant use ki wajay se this water is getting low and low. Yani ki ye kam se kam hota ja raha hai. <coughs> now is the time for practice my dear students for practice you will open the writing practice answer the given questions I hope everybody has opened it now today we will do question number four how do we get water into our houses from a natural source so my dear students abhi maine aapko bataya ke kaise hum natural sources se paani jo hai apne gharo mein jo hai hamai tap mein taps mein aata hai so, you have to narrate the whole procedure uh, orally, orally revise it and then write it down in your notebooks. So, from a natural reservoir, water is pumped to, uh, into a cleaning plant where it is cleaned uh, from all the impurities, all the impurities are taken out, its uh, taste and quality gets better. Then it is pumped to the storage uh, near our uh, societies and cities. From that storage, water is pumped through pipelines into our houses. And that's how we get water into our houses. Write it down in your notebooks. I hope everybody has finished the work. Now we will move forward towards a worksheet. So for this worksheet, you can simply download this worksheet from the description box below this video. Or you can also get it in print form. So my dear students, jo abhi humne written question kiya hai, usi ko hum kaise draw kar sakte hai, let's have a look. So my dear students, water in our houses, what you need to do is draw the path of water from the natural resource to our houses. Houses mein paani jo hai, wo kaise pahunchta hai? So water bodies jo hai, wo natural resource hoti hai, to yahaan se paani jo hai, is route ke through, aapke gharo tak you will draw it yourself and you will also color it okay finish the worksheet and we will move forward 
I hope everybody has finished it. Now is the time for evaluation. So my dear students, quickly answer the question. Listen to it very carefully. How does water come into your house? Stepwise process. Explain it. Okay. You have to now orally explain it. Very good. Very nice. Now you know how the water comes into your houses. Kaise aapko tap mein jo hai wo paani available hota hai. So my dear students, now quickly um, note down your homework. So here are some pictures of natural resources. You have to tell which resource it is. Carefully look at the picture and then write down underneath it. First one is waterfall and the second is ocean. The next is a lake because it is surrounded by the uh, mountains. And the other one is river. Then well and the last one, the snow, the, where there is lo lots of snow on the mountains. This is a glacier. So my dear students, quickly finish the picture reading. Uh, this is your homework. I hope everybody has finished it. So my dear students, let's quickly wrap up what we have done, what we have learned today. So my dear students, we dig wells and tube wells to use underground water. Water from any natural source is first filtered before domestic use. So cleaning plant ke under uh, natural resources se paani ko lajaya jata hai. Vahaan par inki cleaning hoti hai, par inko store kiya jata hai and then is pumped to the uh, houses of different people. So my dear students, this is what we have learned today that how water comes to your houses, how it is available to you from a natural resource to a house. So this was the path, this was the journey of the water. I hope you have understood it. Keep everybody around you safe. Have a good day. Thank you so much and Allah Hafiz.